Welcome to the Hyperspace Vault. Hello Star Wars fans, YouTubers, and also uh, collectors. Today we are doing something uh, a little different, but it's still Star Wars. Today um, we are checking out the Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper version Bandai model. Yeah, this looks really cool. Um, model kit of Luke Skywalker in the Stormtrooper armor. Um, as you can see in the box here, um, it looks really, really cool. We were going to do a build video on this, but um, like we'll show you here, it's quite an extensive model kit with uh, lots of pieces. So um, I think the video would be too long if we if we actually recorded building this. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, break it down and show you some photos during the build process, and then at the end. We'll do a review on this. So let's begin. Okay, we're back with the completed model, and um, as you can see here, the, it's got a lot of accessories. Um, you got several sets of hands, um, several weapons, and some accessories to interchange between Luke Skywalker and uh, the Stormtrooper. So you can display this as a Stormtrooper or Luke Skywalker in the Stormtrooper disguise. Really cool model kit by Bandai. Um, it's 112 scale. Uh, went together really well. Um, there was a lot of pieces, but if um, if you're interested in building one of these, don't be intimidated by that because um, it was really simple to put together um, and really, really well made. Really fine um, pieces. Yeah. Um, really good detailing. Um, the finish on the pieces were really well done. So um, we didn't really have to do any detailing at all, hardly. Um, just one little piece and then we added the decals to kind of finish it off and um, it, it's also um, uh, one of those kind of models where you have to snap together the pieces so no glue allowed for these um, model kits for the Bandai model kits they're just snap tights where you don't have to glue them yeah, and they all fit really well, very seamless, like you can't really tell where the pieces went together in most cases. So uh, let's get a closer look at Luke. Here is the um, the head sculpt, or the, the head was actually about, I think, six, seven different pieces. Um, did a fairly decent job. I mean, you can't really even tell where the the hair was three pieces, and you can't even really tell where they went together, really, unless you look really, really closely. And their face sculpting um, technology is called triaxle jet finish. So there is paint app on the face, and um, the only thing I can see is is that you might want to add um, some white to the eyes. There's a, it looks like the white to the eyes is not very or you can't very you can't see it very well so that would be the only thing but other than that it looks pretty good uh, for Mark Hamill likeness and Luke Skywalker likeness from Star Wars me this is this is just me you guys might disagree with me I don't really think it looks that decent compared to Mark Hamill compared to this really cool painting of Mark Hamill right there um I think it's it's fairly decent, but I still think it's a little off from Mark Hamill. Yeah, it's not perfect by any means, but it's um, it's okay, I guess. It's it's decent. 
Okay, the rest of the, the Stormtrooper armor looks excellent. Um, very clean. Um, very nice detailing. Very nice um, sculpting on the parts. Yeah, it looks really cool. Now, the only detailing I did, I, was, I painted this um, silver here. And this is the... Um, um, the like um, grappling thing. Yeah, the grappling hook. And there's a box for like the rope for the grappling hook. Now I'm going to get into articulation real quick. Uh, this articulation is really good on these on these on these model kits. It's basically like standard Black Series articulation, except it has this like little twist to it that just makes it a little like a little more to to the Black Series figures. It like it like just looks it's like better like the articulation just is better than the black series even though it's basically just the standard black series like the standard black series articulation yeah it's a little bit better than black series i think um there is some limitations with all this uh stormtrooper armor um, yeah it's a little the, like bulky the only bad thing about this one is is on the Luke's um, neck joint, the ball joint, the bottom ball joint is really loose, so his head is just kind it's of like bobbles wiggly. around. Yeah, it just like jiggles away. The upper one is fine, the neck moves up and down fine, but as you can see, side to side, it's like really loose. So, um, yeah, that's the turn only his head all the way around. That was the only problem with that that one on the bottom um you have ankles that move up and down and rotate side to side yeah that's um in a standard black series figure yeah i think that uh bandai just nailed down that uh plastoid look so uh now we're going to get into the art uh, accessories yeah so um the first accessory, which is probably the biggest, is the Stormtrooper helmet. Now, um, at first this helmet wasn't, it didn't have anything on it, it wasn't colored at all, except for the white and the, you know, a few black, you know, of a few black pieces on it. But, um, the rest of it, like the blue and the, like, um, thing right there was all, they're, they're all, um, decals, except for the little, like, air vent things that you can that they hook up to these pipes like when they're in tie fighters or something yeah they were all slot on decals and yeah uh, the mo the mold on this or the uh, piece the cast pieces of the model kit were spot on with the stormtrooper helmet and there's probably like seven or eight pieces in this head and the only line or the only mold or the line where you put it together you can see is back here in the back where this these this will split in two different halves other oh. than that it's excellent yeah. Now the only uh, the only uh, detail I did on the helmet was there was two decals for these uh, I guess what you call breathing nozzles I'm down here that it's are where silver. Where you hook up the pipes like if and they're going, um, like, in space. and all I did was uh, the decals didn't stick to that because it's so small and it has uh, those two silver. Um, so that was the only detail I did to the helmet. So the helmet uh, you you take Luke's helm head off yeah. just by pulling up a little ball joint and then you just add the stormtrooper helmet on. Looks and, really cool. Looks the Stormtrooper iconic. helmet is is a lot tighter than Luke's helmet, and uh, yeah, works a lot better. Luke's head, head, happy little head. But anyway, the next, the um, uh, next accessories are the hands. There's several different hands that it comes with. Like there's like an open hand, too. And then the next hand there is, is like a fist. And it's really cool. It has the armor piece too. And then the last hand is like a pointer finger. Where he's like pointing. That's really cool. And then the way they did the, uh, the weapons is the hands are uh, snapped into the... The hands are snapped into the weapons... Yeah. Um, so the hands are two pieces, and then they snap around the the weapon to the hold the weapon. And then you just yeah. exchange out if you want to do a weapons 
you just exchange out the hands on the figure. It comes with three guns. It comes with a DLT-19, um, an E-11, and then it comes with another, um, it's like a blaster pistol. And I think, I think the blaster pistol is an EE-3, is that what, is that what you... I'm not sure what blaster I can't remember. Is. I think it's called an EE-3, but it's doesn't have any paint application. It's just pure blackness, like the DLT-19 and E-11. Yeah, and this one, the pistol and the E-11 will fit in the holster. Yep. And finishing up the accessories, um, you have a Stormtrooper accessory. This is a little round cylinder that goes on the back of the Stormtrooper, so you can switch out uh, the grappling hook accessory that Luke has and add that which is like a nor this is like the normal standard stormtrooper issue. I'm not sure what they use this uh, black. I mean this cylinder thing. But um, there's also two extra belt pieces. I don't know why. Yeah, and they don't have these uh, little flaps that come down on them. Oh yeah. And then there's a stand there's for stand the figure for here. There's also an extra. Um, there's also extra decals like um, on there. Like, there was uh, a white one right there, and we didn't know what to do with it, so we just put it on the base. All right, let's get into our ratings. Alex, what do you like about this model? So I think on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this model kit a 10, because it's like, like I said earlier, so many times, it has that, like, good plastoid look, and it's like, and it's like Bandai just nailed it down, and... The gun is like super detailed, and the helmet, and the articulation, and the fact that you have a holster too, and it's just super cool. I love this. I love this model. That's why I give it a ten. All right, I want to give this uh, five stars. It's really cool. Really, really good uh, detailing on this. Um, the model pieces were excellently excellent molds for the model pieces. Real crisp pieces. Everything went together really well. All except for Luke's ball joint. His lower ball joint on his head was loose. Yeah. Um, but other than that, the details look are amazing on this. And I don't know if this compares to uh, the the Bandai SH uh, figure arts figures. If this is kind of like the same thing or not. Because I haven't seen those up close really. We don't own any of those. So I don't know if this is basically putting together one of those figures or what. But um, it is a model kit, so it's not going to be as durable as, say, like a Black Series figure. As far as, you know, the joints and everything, you have to be a little more careful with it. Yeah, because some of the pieces might fall off really easily. Yeah. So uh, five stars for me, and um, it's an excellent kit. Um, especially if you enjoy building things, I would uh, recommend picking one of these up or any of the Bandai kits, I'm sure, are the same quality. They make a ton of Star Wars uh, model kits. And, um, and don't, be, um, don't be discouraged or intimidated by all the pieces because they, they go together very well. Yeah. And then I just want to show you the instructions are very good, as you can yeah. see. Shows you a detailed instruction manual of how to do it. You guys looking at this might be like, no, that's like too hard. I don't know if I can do that, but it's actually not that hard. Like, it's really easy to just do all of it. You have to work. I mean, we took our time and, and built yeah. this in sections and took us several days. But actually, you could probably do this in an hour or less, probably, if you yeah. just sat down or maybe a couple of hours. Um, yeah, there's nothing, there's not much to it, really. Um, but uh, once you get it all together, it's a really cool looking figure. And yeah. considering picking up, they are more pricey than a Black Series figure. But I'm um, thinking about picking up a few more of these. Alright, that wraps up this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And if you've got one of these uh, or any of the other Bandai model kits, let us know what you think and how cool they are. Or if they're good. Um, Alice, take us out. May the Force be with you always.